Today, I'm going to try and identify a postage stamp from every country in Asia. Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz. We are back with another postage stamp quiz today. This should be a lot of fun. Thank you very much to G Natural for making this quiz. Um, I played the Europe version of this quiz last week, and now we're doing Asia. So we have 12 minutes to identify 48 Asian countries. Should be fun. Um, there's normally 49 Asian countries on Sporkle, so I'm going to suggest that Palestine is not here. This quiz is about 10 years old, uh, but that shouldn't uh, shouldn't make too much of a difference. The quiz link is in the description. Let me know how you get on and let me know any cool uh, information about these stamps or anything I missed, because there's bound to be some things. And let's go for 100%. I think that's a, uh, a good target. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have Israel. That should be fairly obvious. That's Hebrew, and it's a um, menorah. Uh, this is going to be Mongolia. It's got the Mongolian uh, coat of arms in the uh, in the corner here. Um, that's all the information we need to go on. Some of these are going to be uh, quite recent stamps. Some of them will be uh, a little bit older. Uh, the Arabic ones are going to be the most challenging, I think. So this one, for example, I can't see any good clues immediately and not being able to read Arabic. I'm going to skip that and maybe try and do those at the end. Uh, this is chess. Uh, this is Henrik uh, Kasparri uh, Kasparian, uh, who I believe was Armenian. Perfect. Although we would have been active at the time of the Soviet Union. Um, is this MacArthur? So this might be Philippines, because he's the defender, liberator of the Philippines. Wow, okay. I uh, wonder how old that stamp is. Not sure he's viewed quite so fondly these days in the Philippines, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, this is, I mean, this is just has a map of Indonesia on it, doesn't it? So let's not complicate things. Okay. Uh, Srinivasa uh, Ramanu, sorry, Srinivasa Ramanujan. Uh, this looks like possibly, I mean, this could be Bangladesh. Is that Bengali? No. Uh, India then, maybe. Okay, perfect. Apologies if I got that wrong. Uh, 10 rupee, maybe? Uh, something islands. This could very easily be the Maldives. I think Maldives use rupee or something uh, similar. This is Arabic, but it does say Liban at the bottom, and it does have a cedar tree, so that means it should be Lebanon. I have to remember which countries I've used. Former Raffles College. Uh, Raffles is a name synonymous with Singapore. We've also got a Singaporean uh, lion here in the bottom right, uh, maybe a mer lion actually, uh, but Raffles, there's a whole bunch of things named after Raffles in Singapore, he was one of the British colonists. Okay, uh, this is Siam in the top right, uh, this is Thai script, uh, that might be the Thai king, so let's go with Thailand for that. Uh, and call what? okay, easy, Cambodia. Uh, and then we've got, uh, this is Chairman, I was going to say Chairman Mao, but actually not, because this is Korean script, like Hanjul, so this is probably going to be uh, Kim Il-sung, in which case we can go for North Korea, wonderful. Okay, this is a very old one, this is really cool, this must be from like turn of the century or something. We'll come back and do the Arabic ones at the end, because there might be some clues we can use. Uh, Sultanate of blank, but we've got Muscat 1809, so we can do Oman for this. Need to remember we've done Lebanon and uh, Oman in the Arab world. Uh, this is just the flag of Turkmenistan, um, 1992. Not sure if that's the famous Turkmen Bashi, uh, Turkmenistan, but it's definitely Turkmenistan. Okay, and then we're staying in the situation for this one. This is Samarkand, so this is going to be Uzbekistan. One of those places I just really want to visit at some point in my life. I'm sure we'll get there. <laughs> uh, okay, this is Independence, um, Independencia, 2002, so it's Portuguese. The country that became independent in Asia in 2002 was Timor-Leste. Fantastic. And then we've got Hello Kitty, uh, Mount Fuji in the background, so I'm going to guess this is probably Japan. Excellent. Uh, Patronus Towers, they are found in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And then we've got uh, just the South Korean flag. So, okay. This is not super challenging, but, you know, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's fun. Okay, we've got lots of clues here. We've got a flag, we've got a map, and we've got His Highness uh, Sheikh Isa bin Salman al-Khalifa, which we know from my Trying to Name Every World Leader video, is the ruling family in Bahrain. Okay, cool. This is a Georgian flag. Uh, this is a stamp memorializing 
uh, a loser. The name is Noda Kumara, sorry, Kumari Tashvili. Uh, probably, um, well, I know that was uh, a loser who died in Vancouver, I think, um, on the track. Uh, is this the, uh, is it the Kabala? Ka- Kaba, Kaba, right? Um, I think that's right. In Mecca, so this should be Saudi Arabia. Perfect. And then we've got a very, um, um, what's the word? Very, uh, glamorizing postage stamp of Saddam Hussein from Iraq. Cool. Uh, this is a map of what looks to be Taiwan and does say Republic of China at the bottom as well. So that should be Taiwan. And then we're in a country with, uh, Cyrillic. It just says Russia at the bottom. I mean... This isn't the hardest quiz, all things considered, is it? Unless this is a, a trick question. But no, it's Russia. And then we've got, looks like Mount Everest, right? Um, it's got, uh, uh, yep, yeah, enough clues there for me to suggest it's Nepal. Uh, this is the takeover of the US Department of Espionage. It is Lab- oh, okay, this is Iran, because, yeah, the postage stamp celebrating them. Um, taking hold of American embassies. Uh, this is Kazakhstan. This is Nusultan Nuzabayev, uh, who was the first leader, I think, of Kazakhstan after independence and held power there for quite some time. They actually renamed Astana uh, Nusultan for a while, but I think they've changed it back to Astana now. Uh, so that's Kazakhstan. Uh, this is a map of Myanmar. And then we have the flag of Kuwait. Uh, so state of Kuwait, second anniversary of the National Day. Perfect. Okay, this is the Sultan of Brunei. Uh, we also have um, Dar es Salaam, which is the second name of the formal name of Brunei. Uh, and then, ooh, okay. It's interesting. So, the, uh, the script is Vietnamese. I'm just wondering who this could be. Like, 60, 42 to 7, 27... It's too early for, like, Voltaire, right? I wonder if this was a stamp which was uh, um, used when it was still French-occupied Indochina. Interesting. Okay, this says Old Sana City, so this is going to be Yemen. Uh, and then we've got the 15th Asian Games being held in Doha, so this should just be Qatar. Okay. Uh, and then we have uh, what well, appears to be postage stamps for Old Salon. And then we've got uh, Sinhalese script, or Sinhalese or Tamil, or both possibly. Uh, Sri Lanka, anyway, is the answer here. Okay, we have a map of the UAE and the flag of the UAE, so that's uh, easy enough. And then we've got uh, the Hashemite Kingdom of Blank. Uh, this is presumably a king of Jordan, possibly King Hussein, who's the most famous king, but possibly not as well. There's always a chance it is not correct. Okay, we've got the state of something uh we've got a flag which has a green lower third we've got football 2008 1000 mils like normally when you hear state of blank you think state of israel but this is arabic it's i mean this is not palestine it is palestine wow okay so i wonder what what is missing out anyway interesting uh this is going to Oh, they probably haven't included Turkey, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Um, right, this is Wang Chuk. I think this is the ruling family in Bhutan. And then we've got a map and a flag of Azerbaijan, which is nice and simple. Thank you. Uh, this is the 55th birthday celebrations of Benazir Bhutto, who uh, was a uh, leader in Pakistan. Oh, maybe Afghanistan, possibly, this time. Okay, let's see. Uh, Bangladesh. Okay, it's just a map of Bangladesh, so that's easy. Just keeping an eye on the time there. Okay, we're back in Central Asia now. This is 1992, so post um, breakup of the Soviet Union. We've already had Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan, so this will be Tajikistan or Kyrgyzstan. And I'm going to say Tajikistan based on trying to decode the Cyrillic at the top there. Uh, this is China, so we've got a meeting between Chairman Mao and Stalin, presumably bef- oh, in 1950, it even gives us the date, before the Sino-Soviet split, and later in the Cold War. And this will be Kyrgyzstan. 
nice flag and map again. Uh, hopefully the rest of the series isn't quite as easy because uh, this has been a little simple, I would say. Although we did miss two the first time around, so let's see if we can get those. Right, this is um, uh, VNTN 2019 and that's uh, Laotian writing, so Lao is what we want. And we are back to the beginning. We have not had Syria and we have not had... So this could be Syria potentially. And then this one here as well. Okay, interesting. What have we not had? We've definitely not had Syria. That is not Syria. So presumably this one here will be Syria. No, okay. Did we have Syria? Maybe we didn't. Okay, uh, that's fine. It at least makes it a little bit interesting at the end here. Um, so we have not had... Oh, this is the um, Bamiyan Buddhas, which got blown up by the Taliban in the like around 2000 or so. So this would be Afghanistan. And then that finally leads us to the last one, which in theory should be either Syria or Turkey, yeah. Because um, we didn't have Syria, right? I'm not not, um, not just mis misremembering that. And if we go down the bottom, I'm just going to say that Afghanistan and Turkey are probably the least guessed, is my, uh, my assumption, yeah. Israel number one, and Turkey at the very, very least. But we got there by process of elimination. Wouldn't have got it the first time around. Palestine, Afghanistan... And Vietnam were the um, the other ones which proved a bit challenging. Hey, until next time, I shall see you later. You can message me on Sporkle if you find any cool quizzes. Uh, my Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee links are below as well if you wanted to support the channel. And yeah, take care, look after yourself. Kakite Bye.